been so sunny all day, but I just don't have any energy. I don't know what it is. Hi guys. I think I need to write down a list of ideas, things to do in my days, so that when I wake up, I don't have to think about what to do. I already know by looking at the list, I've got to do that. Today I want to cut, a cut wood. It's a very simple task, I think I can do it. That is what I want to do. Just chop some wood. I feel so useless today. I just feel like... I don't know what I feel like. So no, I don't have like... I don't have any bounce to me today. Even though the weather's perfect. I just don't have any bounce. Ugh. Yeah, I, I don't know what it is. I'm just... I'm just drained. Frustrating, really. Alright, I'm going to, as the sun's setting, I was thinking of making a fire, but I might not actually make a fire. I think what I'll do is I'll collect a bunch of branches that have fallen in preparation for a fire. I think tomorrow would be a nice day to have a fire because, I don't know, I'm just not feeling it today. I'm not feeling like playing with the elements. But I do need to gather the wood, so we'll, we'll get, to, get to work on that. Picked up the stick and dropped the camera immediately. Bruh. Ba ba boy. So at some point I need to tackle this. It's quite a beast. Like these two giant branches have come down a long time ago. And I need uh I gotta saw them up. I was gonna do it today, but I seriously don't even have any energy for that. So I think piece by piece. I'll eventually have it all chopped up and then I can use it in the log burner or I can make a bonfire out of it whichever feels feels right Ooh. Ooh. Goodbye sun You can't really see it on the, on the GoPro but the sun is setting right now So long The sun has actually moved It used to set behind my house there Slowly moving over that way, closer to the east. Very exciting. Eventually it will set directly in front of my house and it's so nice, all the light that comes into the house. I hope I don't have to live here very much longer. I'm basically like two steps away from getting out of here, but for some reason those two steps are so mentally difficult for me. Basically I generated so much money in February. I say so much, it's a lot for me. Generated a lot of money in February so that I could invest it all into my store. I've, sp I've spoken about this so many times, but um, I have that money now. Um, I was waiting until the 1st of March, which happened today. So like things like my rent and everything comes out. Once that's all done, I know how much I have left and then invest all of it. <laughs> right, the return on clothes is actually really good, but it takes a lot of time to produce clothes. So I need to be mentally prepared <laughs> to put all day every day into this project and also to try and balance the daily vlog. Uh, it's gonna be fun. But yeah, I don't know, I don't know. Just doing things like this, really simple tasks, 
like clearing wood that's fallen from storms. It um it helps my brain. It helps my brain in like really micro ways. But I'm also doing things that are distracting me from what I actually need to do. But it's just I don't know, I need to be mentally ready for this because it's it's a big project. I've only done it a few times, like maybe four or five times where I've produced a bunch of clothes. It's so draining, but also really rewarding and I'm trying to get in my, myself into the mindset. I was hoping doing 40 plus days of daily vlogging would help get me into the work mode, but still there's that, that blockage and I don't know what it is. I think it's just lack of practice. I haven't made clothes in a long time. Ah, fluff. I don't know. I, I don't, is it even, is there any value in documenting all of this? I think, I think so. But maybe not for the viewer. I think it's just beneficial for me because I can watch this back in the future and realize, hey, things weren't that bad. I made it through. I'm gonna drag some more wood down and then uh, throw it all over the fence. I'm gonna have so much for a bonfire and then everything that's remaining can be turned into firewood. I'm just trying to get all the small stuff out the way so then I can see, I don't know, so I can get around easier. Even lifting my arm out to hold a GoPro is difficult today. And like, why? This thing weighs nothing. Like, look, weighs nothing. For some reason, like, even that's difficult today. What is up with me? I sort of gave up on that idea as well. <laughs> I'm finding it so hard to pick something and just stick to it. The birds sound nice though. Let me let me show you some of them. Uh, you might not be able to see them, but just listen. I heard an owl waking up. All right, it is time. I have everything that I do not use right here. This is a lot of stuff that I've been carrying around for years. And also some stuff there. So I'm gonna go through and just be really, really harsh. I wanna get rid of at least half, maybe more. 70% would be nice. So we're gonna go through all of this find out if anything works. If, like, most of it's electronic stuff. If it doesn't work, or if I don't use it, I'm gonna get rid of it. Hi guys, so I wanted to talk over this time lapse just to kind of give you um, an insight into my thoughts and why I'm doing this. So basically I laid out almost everything that I own, all the belongings, and I wanna try and get rid of 60 to 70% of it all. So this is the first time going through it. I'm gonna go through it one more time after this, and then that'll be my final count on items. I used to be a minimalist, and I still aspire to be one, but somehow I've accumulated all these things by living in various houses. When I was traveling, I barely owned anything. I'm trying to get back down to that because I, that's when I feel the most free. So as you can see, there's a lot of wires, a lot of electronics. Um, everything on my right is what I'm keeping. Everything on my left is what I'm getting rid of. What's also interesting watching this back is this was like a couple hours of my life. I get distracted so easily and by tech. <laughs> I get so distracted. <laughs> Alright, that's that's all. But it's 2.50 in the morning. I feel great. I'm kind of hungry, but I feel great. Today was a weird one. I mean, this whole week's been kind of weird. I just don't feel 100%. Like, every, every time someone would ask me how I'm doing today, I would say I'm at like 7% battery. But this evening's been nice. I think I'm enjoying my nights a lot more than my days. I don't know why. I think when everything gets quiet, the internet quiets down, there's no, no sound, everyone's sleeping. 
That's when I can truly think. What I'm thinking about is I need my space. I need space. I need to have my own space where I'm not responsible for anyone but me. Not that I have any extra responsibilities here, maybe like Jas, but I want to be away from everyone I know. That's what I wanted when I went to Spain. I drove so far away from where I live just because I wanted to be away. When I drove to Spain, I had no money. I had no plan. I just drove there, lived in my car for a couple weeks, and then it all worked out. But I had no plan. Like I just, I just needed to get away so badly that I didn't really plan. I just ran away. That's why this time when I move away, I'm trying to do it strategically and with money. <laughs> I'm not making the same mistake, but I, I realize I need my space. Like, I'm 29. I can't be using anyone else's space. I need to build my own. I need to feel comfortable. Um, I need to feel secure in my own ability to support myself. I mean, I'm supporting myself now, but I'm not. It's not my. It's not my space. I don't feel that comfort you get from having your own space. Like, I can't even decorate that bedroom because it's, it's not my bedroom, it's just a guest room. That feeling you get when you're couch surfing and you know you could do better in your life. Like, I'm getting that feeling and it's not quite that situation, but it's just, I'm getting that feeling and it's frustrating. I know that I'm making huge leaps towards where I need to be, but it's not coming quick enough and, and I'm working all day every day. It's like I can't, I can't take breaks because I'm not where I want to be yet. People keep telling me that I need to take breaks or I'm going to burn out. I don't think I'm gonna burn out, and that's not that's not what's happening currently. I feel it's different. I've had burnout before. It's not it's not that. I'm not where I need to be yet. That's why I can't stop. Anyway, thank you for hanging out. We'll talk, talk again tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow my head will be a bit clearer. We'll see. I mean, I'm just playing this as I go, so we'll see. Hope you're all doing good out there. I'll uh, I'll read all the comments. So drop some comments and have a good night, guys. Or, or day. Whenever you watch this, I don't know. Bye-bye.